summer, summer is my rhyme. Where you going, Father Time? What you doing, eating chicken fingers, sticking sun it shines? What's that, Mom? What you saying? What you say? Is it time? I can't believe it. I must have waited all my life, at least all winter, for my right to do this thing we always do. What's that? I thought you knew. It's my family's barbecue. Hey, good afternoon, folks. A rare treat for you here in this beautiful summer afternoon Gorgeous. out here in Delco, beautiful. downtown Delco. Beautiful uh, Sunday early evening. Yeah, exactly. It's about four something, four thirty maybe. There's a later than that. I don't know. It's like five thirty. I got my drunk watch on. I don't know what time it is, but we know it's, it's five o'clock. Hour. It's five o'clock it's somewhere. Hour. It's happy hour, and um, the sun is the sun's beautiful. Um, what the was I going to say? Uh, so we're doing a uh, our backyard backyard beer review, which we do a few. Usually with old Papa San, but today it's just Marco and I. Yeah. Uh, and we got a, a new treat for you here. This is a nice one Mark was gracious enough to bring over. I like the surfboard thing. Uh, this is High Tide. Uh, high Tide IPA. And it's got a little, you can't really tell that the line, though, between the high and the tide is a surfboard. You can see the little fin on the back there. It's pretty cool. And this is from uh, Port Brewing Company, which I love a lot of their stuff. They're out of California. Um, a lot of surfboard on the back. Yeah. It's pretty, oh, yeah, decent stuff. So they're a Cali. Cali citrusy IPA type thing, and actually you can't really see the actual. It's, San the whole thing Marcos. Is, the whole cover is actually, even though it's green, it's it's the tide rolling in. Yeah, it's and they have neat. a. Um, they do. What's the other one? It's uh, it's like all blue. It's uh, a pale ale. SPA Spa. Spa. Yeah, they have Spa. They have a Shark Attack Red that I I liked a lot, and they had um, something else too. Mongo. I think Mongo was pretty good. They Mongo. usually have big boy for. I've never seen them in, in pints and cans either. I've never seen them Mongo. in big boys. All right, what kind of uh, give us a little rendition on this one? Well, so I'm going to read right from the back of it. Actually, um, why not? There's nothing better than a sun-soaked day at the beach with the tide coming in. But if only you have a nice citrusy IPA. Ooh, yeah. Drenched in notes of tangerine and stone fruit from the judicious amounts of Simcoe and Amarillo hops <sighs> judicious. on your side. Yeah, judicious. It reminds me. It's like uh, judicious sounds delicious. Uh, crazy Joe. Adjudicated. Now they call me Batman. This is a righteous brew. No matter which tide you find as you stroll the shores of your favorite beach, we hope you find this a most welcoming high tide. Hang loose. High tide. I don't know if there's some... Hey, bra. If there's some other jokes in there um, about no. being dank, maybe even being high. I'm not sure. The motto looks like it's laid back, hop forward. It's got the flip-flops. I, I dig the flip-flops. It's a cute little, little addition. It's, yeah, it's neat. a summer look. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely one you want to drink while you're watching North Shore. It's just called Howley. Howley Ale. Howley, hey, Howley. Hey, Barney. Uh, I looked at the freshness date on here, and actually it's not too bad. We're out of the date, though, believe it or not. But it's 7-6-2017, uh, it? yeah. so we're just we're a couple days out, but it should still be fine. No. Are we? Yeah, um, no. Yeah, look. 7-6-2017, brah. Last IPA, you want it? Yeah. No. When are you going to stop calling me Howley? <laughs> you're not a Howley anymore, Howley. Barney. Nia Peoples. Check it out. Alright, so we're going to dig into this. It's 6.2 on the fun, on the factor. fun factor. Yeah, fun factor. you're right in there, right on that one. I got some residue from the earlier beers, but that's okay. Which were fantastic. Oh, yeah. We did we some good, good stuff roads, today. Little wow, this sesh. is a really nice. I mean, really well, good. You can't really say it's so much here, but the sun beaming off this thing is like super bright golden. Yeah. So it's nice. Uh, orbs. Really orbs. golden. Uh, going to do the Belgian nose dip here again. Oh, I got it. Got me, Odell. I'm not getting a huge, huge aroma off this one, though. Did you actually put your nose in it? Yeah, by accident. Double trouble to get the nose and the, and the mustache whiskers in there. All right, so cheers. Bottoms up, folks. We're going to try this one out and see what we think. Wow. Not bad. Ooh. Very bright. Super crisp. Almost reminds me of almost like a white IPA, kind of. Like a little, it's very lemony. Mm -hmm. What are the hops in here? Do they say? Yeah. Um, oh, Simcoe Amarillo. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yellow Amarillo. I think Amarillo definitely gives you that that really high, bright, you know, more of a bitter end note. Simcoe. I'm starting to get confused. I don't I know. know which ones I like anymore. This is definitely more in the grapefruity scale. I think of IPA. It's not the super juicy. Yeah, a lot of IPAs now are going towards that guava root and the passion fruit kind yeah. of like a darker, not darker, but a, a more Ooh. sweeter fruit. Oh, God. This is definitely more of the bitter. Nice. This is tangerine and stone fruit, but yeah. I mm. don't know. 
I'm not getting not the tangerines orange, but it's close enough. Mm. It's hard when you're tasting a bunch of different IPAs throughout the day too. You got to really kind of scale it and taste beers in the right way. If you go from a really high end bitter one to a low end bitter one, it's not gonna. I don't think you're gonna feel the same way, you know. Yeah, but I, it doesn't taste like this has been. There's been copious amounts of flavoring added. I, I think no. a lot of this is just is coming from the hops themselves. It was, uh, yeah, it was judiciously. Uh, and it was judiciously hot. <laughs> Not too much. Oh man, that sun is bright. Beaming right off my notepad. Oh god, the wind is actually blowing. Oh, Holy crap. Blowing set. The wind is blowing our set. We are naked here too, no crew. I know, look at this. this I, got, like I know. Bear Grill. Oh, it was Bear? No, Bear's got the crew. It's the other guy. Another boy. Bear Grills. Yeah, you want to live off urine for 60, 65 weeks? Yeah, I don't. Not me, I'd rather live off beer. Uh, it's like living off on. Coors Light for 60 weeks. Yeah, this is definitely really good though. High tide. I love any kind of ocean themed beer, though. I love the whole, the whole gig. You know, it's it's, it's cool. Well, it seemed like every time I was getting Cali beers, brewing beers, I was getting like del- like twenty twos and uh, large format versions, and it was like not winter style necessarily, but it wasn't really IPAs. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. For some reason, I'm thinking like the port brewing stuff I had was a lot of like I don't know brown ales and. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty Whatever. standard IPA. After a couple, you know, every, any IPA, you really got to take a few sips to really, you know, whether you're an IPA lover or not, they really kind of yeah. get the full flavor of it. Because sometimes you can you can sip one off the bat, and it's so bitter, it just, like, attacks your palate, you can't even really taste it. Yeah, we had a Nimble Giant. It started double, settling and nicely. Then, uh, Ooh, grocery list flying by. Two Roads. Yeah, yeah the Two Roads was really good. Little Heaven Seshi. Little Heaven. It was, it was a little bit of heaven, I gotta say. Speaking of little heaven, I got those little beef sticks, that, uh, the Duke's beef sticks. Shout out to Duke's beef sticks. Those oh, things are righteous, set? dude, yeah. I haven't tried the other styles yet. Oh, they're so good. It's like a sweet chipotle or a... Yeah, they, all they have is the regular something. ones, which were pretty good. Yeah. Count and I were noshing on some of those. They're good. Walking up and down really park in my flip-flops. <laughs> anyway, um... The true Delconian style. I feel, I feel like I got nothing here. I got no cleverless. Lean back, today. hop forward. Well, there's there's a joke to be had here somewhere. Oh uh, yeah, the, probably the whole high tide, low tide thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's definitely something to be said about the Dempsey boys' low tide. All right, you don't want you don't want to be around when low tide starts rolling. No, out. it will impair. It as gets, it says here, it gets ugly. It will impair your ability to drive a car or operate machinery. If this high tide gives me some low tide gas, then you're in for a lot of trouble. As Marcus is a fiddler crab, <laughs> fiddler crab. Uh, what was that back then? Uh, Bethany. Not Rehoboth, Bethany. Indian River, Delaware, somewhere down yeah, in Delaware. Yeah, off, definitely off the Indian River. Yeah. It was such a weird spot. I liked that spot down there because you really weren't on the river, but you were like, you were close to the ocean. It wasn't just a lagoon. Yeah. You Remember? were by the bay. It was like more and it was water. Like, but it, it was like creaky. Just... It's rivery. It's kind of like you had the best of both worlds. It's like if you're down the shore, not like, not, it wasn't like there was the mountains, but you were kind of nestled in. Like you could feel like you could hang out in the creek and just fart around, or you could fish in the bay, or you could go to the ocean if you wanted yeah. to. You do a little tubing, spots but, um, for the. Uh, but man, when that low tide rolled in, man, it smelled some uh, sulfury, funky mess, and then the fiddler crabs would all come out. Yeah, because it's like right across the street. There was all that little like creek beds and stuff. <laughs> oh man, they reeked so bad. Yeah, and then we met Boo Boo. Yep. And he messed we, up our crabbing experience. Boo Boo's made a couple times on this show. Yeah, yeah. answered. We won't go into that again. Try to bring up any bad memories, but yeah, well, I'll be like other YouTube shows. There's going to be a link to the episode that we talked about. Just click your screen. Don't right make here. me go back and look for that now. Oh. No, click this. Click on the screen. We can't. We, we haven't done that shit either. Yeah, I know. Some high tech YouTube stuff. I know. Well, I looked at. I got to look into that. I don't know. I'm, I'm low tech. I'm, I'm, I'm more in the creative I know there's side a of bell things. Now. But I'm not Plus, very good at the. Yeah. Besides the, not that I'm horned for subscriptions, but if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. I like to keep um, this old school. There's a bell that gives you notifications, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, whatever. You know, yeah, like, nowadays you watch a video and it's filled with a bunch of crap all over the screen. Just like you're watching a hockey game and there's advertisements all over it. I just want to keep it nice and clean. Just two nice dudes talking clean. about beer. Beer dudes. You know, we're, we're old old YouTubers. Whatever. We're on there. We're living the dream. Yeah, there. Yeah, it is freaking gorgeous out here, though. <sighs> I know. Was it 84, I think? Mm-hmm. I just got, like... 81, I think. A little bit of sun on my own. We're going to split, split hairs here. You got a little too much sun. I'm off yeah. camera now. I'm off frame. I like this. This is the in your face style. At least we can see ourselves yeah, and see what we're doing. Yeah. Just kind of give me annoying. <laughs> Pirate Pete about to make an appearance over here. Oh. Pour some more of this deliciousness. Live pour. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'll it's race a Train it. wreck. I got this. Oh. A little bit of head. Not too much head on this thing. This is really a good, um, I'd say a good starter IPA for people that want something that's like not super, super juicy. 
not super, super in your face citrusy, but it is. It's not lockjaw, Hoppy. No, what's the I yeah, lockjaw, that's a good call. What's the IBU on this? I don't even know. Six point two fun factor. No, the IBU. Oh, they don't even put it on there. Which I don't. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the IBU anyway. We talk about that. That's something beer snobs like to talk Let's about. See if I can look it up. What's the international bitterness unit? It was great. I was at um, Ironheart, which used to be three guys in a beard, and uh, there was these people on a beer tasting tour. And I'm like, what tour are you at out here? Like, there's there's maybe like the next twenty miles to find another brewery, but yeah, that's cool. Um, Ironheart. Sounds but I heard the guy other. whispering to the lady he was with. Mm. What's the numbers mean again? <laughs> now there's only so many means. numbers, right? There's the price, there's the ABV, there's the IBU. Right. Maybe there's the ounces. Yeah, right? the, yeah. So Serve yeah. a six or a ten or a twelve or a full point. Right. Um, and there's the US. But yeah, uh, so USBN. the numbers. Hey, it's then there's, important. Then there's the that number on there. Mean, you know, there's yeah. that number on the bar. Oh, and then there's the drink by or enjoy by those numbers. Those Which is cool. The beer app that we used to track beers with has a. Um, has a barcode uh, scanner, so you can just scan the beer and it pops up. But it takes a little while. Yeah, that's that's kind of neat. I like the can art. I'm a big fan of, of art. This is very top. sleek. This is a real sleek um, design. Now this says 6.5. Our neighbors looking at it like factor. crazy. Anyway, um, 78. I woof. Oh, I was going to guess a little, a little lower. Yeah. All right. I like this design though. It's just clean and crisp. I love this kind of green. It's like an avocado kind of color. I like the stripes, dude. She's fast, Truman. She looks fast. She looks fast, Truman. Neely, Mr. Neely's looking at us. Our neighbors are pretending to do They're stuff outside. They're always trying to get on the episode. <laughs> <laughs> always trying to find a way to horn in, get on TV. They see us out here. They see me riding. What's that song? I don't even know. Don't ask me. I don't know either. But they see us riding back here, and they just want to. They see me hating. The uh. Quick update on the Bonus Park situation, by the way. The park is uh, completely done now. Uh, the basketball court has amassed a huge amount of followers. Every night, pretty much, there's somebody out here. Yeah. Um, the tot lot is very minuscule, and uh, but the grass looks good. Everything looks it's okay. There's a new nifty sign out there. Maybe I'll take a picture of the sign, and we'll put it up on the end. We'll put it up on the end. Yeah, I'll there's another the new there. sign, too, that had to be put up. Yeah, no drinking in the park. No trespassing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, Dad. Yeah, we got a lot of kids running through the uh, driveway trying to get uh, a lot transits. Of cut-ins. Yeah, it's brought out a bit of the a bit of the uh, I wouldn't say criminal element, but it's brought out a bit of the some hijinks, some mischievous kids. Um, you know, but what are you gonna do? If you build it, they will come. That's right. The kids will come in droves. They will play basketball. As long as they keep it clean, keep it clean, kids. All right. I guess we're done. I'm surprised kids haven't walked by yet already. I wonder what the hell we're doing. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. We're going to continue to drink under the shade of this umbrella here. The yeah. sun's about to go down over Nancy's house, and then we'll be in the clear. Left. Yeah, a little bit. What do you think about this? This is, this is really tasty, though. Thanks for bringing it by. It's a yeah. um, good it's tasty offering. Though. I like it. I do, too. I like it a lot. It's getting better and better as it goes. It's more of a crisp, bright, lemony... Great fruity variety, for sure. Yeah, um, totally. It's not going to be unlike, if you're an IPA lover, it's not going to be unlike pretty much anything. You're not going to drink it like, holy crap, this is like amazing. But it's really good, clean, fresh. Yeah, enough hops, it gets the job done. Yeah, definitely. I love it. Plus on the pint, can't go wrong. I love the pint cans. I'm a big fan. Like, I think That's my favorite way to serve beer anymore, is those pint cans. You see those pint cans, and just, man, it's awesome. Yeah, it's like, get in. Get at it. I'm not even a big fan of bottle. And like, I was such a bottle guy, and now I'm a total can converter, dude. Yeah, like four extra ounces here. I was so can phobic, and now I just love the cans in any size. This kid, the son is really battling him. He's about to sneeze. He's going to get some whiskey. No, I know. We have a bad glare off the table. Mm. All right. Well, we got the church bells. It almost sounds like Madonna's borderline. It does. It does. Good call. Should be more like like a prayer, but the hell I know. Whatever. You know. And on that note, uh, we will finish up. All right, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, well, and the oh, dogs are starting to bark. I can't believe we didn't get dogs barking earlier, but you know, I had to go check wow. the herb garden, and make sure everything's fine here. Um, one day, soon, possibly, maybe even next month, we may be broadcasting from a new porch. Oh, yeah, that'd be exciting! That's right. Dad's getting Dad's getting a new porch out here. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. We should do one outside of your place, your porch. 
actually. Yeah, we could do that too. There could be all kinds of outdoor locations coming yeah, up. Definitely in the park. This is our prime top time. Top of Nancy's barn. Up, you know. Yeah. Hopefully, like the Phillies batters. You know, in the city. It's a little warm out. In the city you know, tonight. We get our, you know, we get our stroke. We get our stroke. That's right. Yeah, the Phillies are really stroking up. Mm. All right. Anyway, this is going on far too long. All right. Yeah. Cheers, cheers, brother. brother. Thanks for bringing the beers. Yeah. Thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for drinking. Yes, and we'll catch you next time on TBD. And Peace. always, as TBD, uh, time to be determined. Yep. Because you never know when we're going to pop up. Uh-uh. Adios. <coughs> Tierra de Fuego. Adiana <laughs> Naya Candidos. I didn't have to come to Maui to be treated like a jerk. How do you think I feel when I see the bellboys smirk? And I can hear their ukuleles play down by the sea. She's gone with the hula hula boys. She don't care about me.